This is the second video in the MCP series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MCP servers in VS Code. Let's do a recap. Model context protocol on a higher level. Model meaning there are many AI models. Context is important for any LLMs, right? If you provide more context into the LLM, it provides better result, right? And there is where you can have the prompts provided under the hood. And the protocol means the standards or set of rules, right? On a higher level model context protocol. If you are still confused, I find one good example of source MCP diagram. This documentation is quite good. You can follow it. But here you can see what is before MCP and after MCP. Before MCP, there is a LLM and unique API to configure. After MCP, the LLM is the same. Uh, on top, applications are down, but in the middle is this model context protocol, which acts as a unified API. There is the unique, unique, unique API. Now there is a unified API. Concept of MCP developers' life easier to integrate different tools into AI applications. Let's go into implementing it in VS Code. Before implementation, there are prerequisites. You need VS Code download it in your computer. So that is one requirement. Another, I will be also showing with NPX. You need to have the node installed in your machine. The third one is you need Docker installed. I will show one example with Docker and one with NPX. It's easier to know which way. The fourth is VS Code's GitHub Copilot. For that, if you new, watch this video. Get started with GitHub Copilot free in VS Code. If we have this configured, you are good to go. If you want to know about the model context protocol, I have this first video. These are the prerequisites that you need checked. If I have NPX installed, I already installed, as I said you before, and this is the NPX version. I have Docker, desktop installed, VS Code. I have GitHub Copilot which means I can use GitHub Copilot. You can see the example I was trying with Copilot. We are going to work with the agent here. I will explain as we progress. I'm going to show you two simple examples to use MCP servers in VS Code. So one, I will show you the file system MCP server, which I showed in my previous video. Second, the time MCP server. There are many MCP servers, but to get started just with the two examples, First, we'll be going with the file system MCP server. If you are opening VS Code for the first time, you need MCP enabled. Go to settings for MCP. MCP enabled preview enables integration with MCP servers to provide additional tools and functionalities. MCP discovery enabled configures discovery of MCP servers set to true or false to disabled source. If I click uh, this one, you can see MCP discover is true. I tested with MCP server before, but I will just delete it now so that I will just go from scratch uh, with you. Once I remove that, there was this 11 different tools disappearing in VS Code or any AI editor. If you open a file, it is shown as a context. If this is enabled, we are good to go. Let's implement the MCP server file system i'm going to show you one example you can see i have this mcp folder created inside mcp folder i have this mcp.txt before implementing this first mcp server let me go to vs code because you need to be knowing what happens when we have the mcp server it's providing tools to the agent you need to be in agent mode you if you go to the ask mode you cannot use it if you go to the edit mode you cannot use it. Always be going into the agent mode and you need to be downloading the latest version for it to just, just a disclaimer or information there that because sometimes it will not be shown here, meaning that update your VS Code. Now I will be asking what files do I have in, let's say, MCP folder. It has no idea about the MCP folder. Okay, let me check the contents of the MCP folder. It says I need to open it. Although it says MCP, it's not clickable because I haven't provided any folders. So let's implement that. When we ask the same question, it should say we have the folder. That is how we provide context to the LLM. And only that particular folder so that we are restricting it not to go to other folders on my computer. For that, I've provided all the different links in my repository in GitHub. 
LLM resources. If you go down, here is the model context protocol. There are different links from the official GitHub servers. You can take any of the servers here. For example, I'm going with the file system MCP server. It's a node. Node.js server implementing MCP for file system operations. It gets. And there are different features. Read, write, create, list, delete directories, files, move files and directories. MCP server is powered by tools under the hood. You can see the tools this MCP server has. So if I scroll down, this is the usage with the Claude desktop. I haven't seen anyone mentioning why it is different from Claude desktop and VS Code. Copy paste this, these things, it will not in, in the Claude desktop and VS Code is slightly different. There is MCP servers and the file system and that is how the config file will be. But if you go to the VS Code, you can see there is MCP and servers and file system. These different hierarchy although the main mcp mm, server is the same the way it is configured is different in different platforms for example in this case vs code and in the cloud desktop i'm going to go with the npx here you can see the npx and i need just the npx i can copy this and paste there are two ways we can do it i will show you first with npx and in docker just to show you how to integrate with two different ways you don't necessarily need to do it manually you can copy and paste things for the first one let's go with the manual step so you know first i will copy this mcp server name now i'll go into the s code here and you need to be opening the command palette if you go here and i find it good to do command shift p as shown in the setting there is this command palette go to the command palette and you can see different things we enabled the mcp before right now you can see there is this add mcp if you just search for mcp you can see there is mcp list servers there is mcp add server click mcp add server once you go into add mcp server there are different options you we are going to use docker and npx but you can do pip uh, package there is http connects to remote http server that implements the mcp protocol run or local command implements the mcp protocol standard uh, we are going to do the npm package for that you need npx install because that is the command we need to run in our machine there is a server you are running that locally all packages needs to be installed in your machine to run that npm package asking for the package name this is the package name it says enter to is confirm now you need to do allow to do it it is asking for the root directory i will go to my terminal i will copy this but in the root directory i provide the desktop i will say enter here now it is asking for path to other allowed directory to allow directory you can use the comma and provide multiple directories so there's two things i want to provide the file system is automatically picked up i can just say enter now you can see this is reflected in the settings.json where we have our mcp server called file system using the command npx and the arguments server file system you can see the root directories i want to allow this server to access my local computer control c control v there is now these 11 tools right click it will see all different tools. click which one you want once enabled the mcp folder is located at this folder let me use the appropriate tool to list the allowed directory so it says list allowed directory now i will check the contents of the mcp folder you can say allow in this session it is going to be listing the things for me you can see the mcp folder there is one file mcp.txt would you like me to show the contents i will say yes it will ask me to open that file read file i say continue now it will read what is inside there you can see i have written hello world just to confirm from the terminal itself so if i do cat mcp text i have written hello world inside it says i check the contents of the file and it contains hello world would you like me with this file or create additional files in the mcp folder play around with two folders i want to move this mcp.txt in desktop right just to show you i don't have it i will go to desktop you can see i don't have the mcp.txt right i will clear this 
and now I will go and just say can you move the um, mcp.txt file uh, to the and it's easier if you are working in a VS Code, you can do all the things from the chat interface. It says move file, continue. It should move that file into the disk. Each time it is asking me to approve so it can do the things for us. If you click this, you can see the source destination. It says desktop successfully move the files. You can see what it is doing if you click these mm, things there. Now I have successfully moved. I will go back to here. I will ls and now you can see mcp.txt is here if i go back to the previous folder i can just copy this folder i will go to mcp if i do ls i don't have anything because that is being moved to the desktop this is one example you can play around with your file system it sounds simple just imagine I don't need to come back to the terminals. You can do it with natural language. Now, let's go with the next one. I want to show you copy pasting with Docker. This is the time, it provides time and zone conversation capabilities, right? So, there is the get current time, convert the time. And installation, you can install different things. But I'm going to use in the VS Code for manual installation. Go to the command palette. We are going to use Docker. You need UVX installing. We already have Docker installed. So I just want to go with Docker. If you go to the settings, we have MCP and servers. You can stop it from here. If you want to stop this, you can just go here and say stop. Now it is stopped. If you ask related to this MCP thing, it will not work related to this file system. You can copy this part of the code. Control C. And from here, you can see the ending part. I will paste here. If I refresh this, there were 11 before. Let's see what happens. There should be additional tools integrated. It's revolving and you need Docker installed in your system. Now you can see there is 13. If I click here and there is this MCP file system, there is MCP time, get current time and convert time. You don't need to follow the add MCP from the command palette. You can copy paste once configured. Do the indentation if you need. What is the current time of Helsinki? Just asking a simple question. I will help you find the time in Helsinki using the time conversion tool. This is the MCP server from MCP server. Note that MCP servers may attempt to misuse the code through tools. Please carefully review any related Access. You can see time zone and it is saying Europe Helsinki. I can just go ahead and allow in this uh, session. It is 11.58 a.m. right now. Mm. What is this time in Nepal? I want to know the time in Nepal. It says I will help you find the time in Nepal by converting. You can see the tool kicks in now. Convert time. Here source time zone is Helsinki. Target is Asia Kathmandu. Time is 11.58 right now. 11.58 right now. I can say continue. It will convert that time into Nepal. It can see that it is 2.43 p.m. UTC 5.45. This is the source. And it finds the answer 2.75. The time difference between Helsinki and Kathmandu. You get the idea how easily we can integrate. To recap in VS Code, first you need to have all the necessary things installed. If you want to work with Docker, you need Docker installed and running. I will quit the Docker. Once I quit, it says error loading because it does not find Docker installed. You need to install and run Docker. It says error loading and you need to start the server. Once I start the server, it says Docker connection error because I haven't, inst I haven't run the Docker locally. You can see the server is running. Uh, in our machine using docker now if i run docker it should be running in a second once that is you can see docker here if i start the server it says time is starting discover tools and so on remember whatever is mentioned in the context for example docker to run this you need uvx it's up to you which one you want to use that's all for this video i hope you now get how to use mcp servers in vs code and the uh, chat interface um, directly in the future i will be showing you different mcp servers also you can run on that in vs code as a developer you will be using this code many mcp servers integrated into the chat interface you don't need to go into multiple places to find the informations so yeah 
I hope you learned something new. If yes, then if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'll be creating more contents like this. If you are already subscribed, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.